Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to be looking at a P0112 intake air temperature circuit low voltage. The intake air temperature sensor is inside the MAF sensor. So the IAT temperature sensor changes resistance based on temperature. The sensor itself is controlled by ground circuit and PCM applies voltage about 5 volts as we talked about before the 5 volt reference wire in the plug. To break this down when the intake air is cold, sensor resistance is high, the signal voltage will only be pulled down a small amount through the sensor to ground, causing the PCM to sense a high signal voltage. Now when your intake is warm, sensor resistance is low, signal voltage is pulled down a greater amount to the sensor to ground causing PCM to sense a low signal voltage. So this is where we're gonna see a lot of the tests repeat themselves from the other one we did. So right now my sensor is not plugged in, so I'm gonna plug it in. So you can see right now, it says 13 degrees. Now if you had some crazy reading, like 200 plus degrees Fahrenheit, or like 282, whatever the heck it is, there's something definitely wrong. In that case, you need to troubleshoot continuity in the wires. However, if you pull the plug out, like I did, you're going to see minus 39. That's good. If you don't have that issue or don't have that problem, um, if you're not seeing minus 39, then we got to troubleshoot further. So from this point on, we're going to repeat a test that we did earlier, is check continuity, short to ground. So once again, with my multimeter, with the ignition on, hit my ground, touch that, I got my reference 5 volts. Now of course, if you didn't get 5 volts, you have a short to ground somewhere. And then you would obviously would have to pull the wiring harness apart, start checking see if the wire has rubbed through somewhere, check the continuity between the tan wire all the way back to your PCM plug. You might even have a short in the ground. I can remember which one is the ground. So let's just uh, let's swap that over to ohms. Go to the black wire. So I got continuity to my ground. So, we know there's not an issue there, but like I said. Now, of course, if your resistance value is too high in your 5-volt source and are your ground, you need to track that down because that could be an issue as well. So, if you went through all that trouble and you have 5 volts, then you don't have 5 volts, you have an intermittent issue somewhere, and those are the worst if you try to troubleshoot, an intermittent issue is usually a break in the wires somewhere. So if the vehicle moves or jiggles, you'd have connection and not connection. That part really sucks because then you got to start like wiggling the wire, try to trace it down. If you have like a short finder, you can plug it in, find out where it's broken. But uh, intermittent issues are always the most hardest and most difficult to troubleshoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. This is all theory, of course, on how to test. But there's so many other variables that can play in too. Like I said before in other videos, if you have other codes present, this and that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next one.